I'll ask this. Do you want to date an average man? What do you mean? Right? Average man. Define, I please. Mean, like define. somebody who's just not rich, like just a regular person? Average height, average income, average personality, average looks, average. The guy you see on the street. No, I wouldn't mind. No. Average man. Um, no, average woman, yeah. I just don't really feel like dating a man right now. Because so. the average well, I, I woman mean, is hotter. That's what. <laughs> just in general, I, I don't mind about average, I guess. Okay, interesting. What about you? No. You don't want to date an average guy? No. What What component of it would you not want? Like the, I need the money? The man. I need the man to make more money than me. How much money? Uh, okay, how much money does a guy need to earn to date you? I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I'm, oh, um, like <clears throat> monthly or like annually? Annually. Either. Sure. Uh, per year. Annually. 500K? Whoa. Whoa. What? You know what's bad, the hoes. You realize that's, that's like one percent. That's one percent. Possible. That's one. Yeah, but yeah, 1%. what's possible, possible isn't necessarily what's probable. Do you think? And you have how many kids? Three. Three from <laughs> different. <laughs> wait, wait. Like, bitch, what are you talking about? You got three kids. And you asking for a nigga that made 500 k where he can go out here and find a proper woman that ain't been touched yet? I mean, she she could have been touched, but she ain't got no kid. Yeah. And then and then and then, like no offense, but like look at you. No, nah, she's 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 butt. She's b. This bitch is butt. Like this bro. bitch is butt. But like what I say, like every time I see bitch out here talking that crazy shit, is because dudes have gassed her. Right. She got she got she's fucking. Clearly she's fucking. And this this is what get bitches in trouble is that they confuse dick attention with real attention because mm -hmm. it don't take nothing for any type of dude to slide the tip in pursuing you wise, but they confuse that shit with like motherfuckers that actually giving a fuck about them. That's why she say five hundred k. I bet you she probably fucks you know ballers. Yeah, you know what I'm and saying. She not with him now. <laughs> nah, she conflated though because I can pull a motherfucker. They got bread, bitch. I can keep a motherfucker. You with ain't bread. pull him. He nah. used you as, Facts. as a means to an end. But bitches confuse that shit though. That's why she talks the way that she talks, bro. Every last, every every single time I see a bitch talking crazy, mm -hmm. delusional. Mm -hmm. Clearly, this frumpy ass bitch cannot look at that dog. Look at that, bro. She look like a fucking beer barrel, <laughs> bro. <laughs> That's, and she got hey. three of them things. You got oh, every other girl in there. As soon as you said that number, said whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> and you still sitting here dead ass serious. Like obviously dead there's ass. something wrong with you in the head. Dead ass. Because there's girls in there that look better than you, that don't even have the same requirements as you. Yep. So obviously, self awareness. <laughs> self awareness is a woman's best friend. Mm. But most women don't have that self awareness, especially nowadays, though, bro. But you see mm. it when you be when you're at work and shit. Bitch, you oh, yeah. out here talking stupid crazy. Oh yeah, you know social saying? media ain't helping either. How many fucking times you seen frumpy hoes get taken down by dudes that should not be fucking with them bitches? That's that's because there's something wrong with men. Nah, because the dudes will fucking put their dick in anything. Though. Exactly. And if men held the standard that they should for their dick, girls like this would not be speaking like that. I definitely agree with you, but that would never happen though because women can get dick whenever the fuck they want. It don't take no effort. How much effort does it take for a dude to get some pussy? Yeah, it take a little right. bit of work. Like you, you can't just you can you, 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 who you, you, are. you you could be you could be the most attractive motherfucking dude there is, dog. Yeah. That's not enough to just get bitches whenever you want. You yeah. gotta have clout. You gotta yeah. have status. You gotta know yeah. how to talk to a bitch. You gotta have. You gotta be confident. Yeah. You gotta be funny. Yeah. It could be a bitch that don't even speak fucking English. <laughs> Still, this bitch could be deaf. Nigga still gonna you know what I'm saying, yeah, bro? Yeah, yeah, dog, yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Real. So it's it's different, dog. That's like real. they don't gotta work for nothing. Dynamics are stupid, bro. But it's just it's supply and demand, dog. Mm -hmm. Like it's a the demand for pussy. Pussy runs the world, bro. Yeah. And what you're talking about is like trying to you know hold yourself to a higher standard. That's how all men should be. Yeah. But the majority of men can't even pull a bitch from if they trying. Like the men, the men that have options. <laughs> And can get bitches all the fucking time should hold themselves to a higher standard. Yeah. But at the end of the day, men are fucking men. And they're gonna That's fuck real. regardless, dog. It's just it's just in them. So as long as you got that cycle going on, bitches gonna continue to get their fucking head blown up. But men do So where does it start? You think it start with the bitches? You think it start you think it start with the men? Like the women or the men? Men. 
Okay, so we on the same page. Then. Yeah, man. So the word. We're the we're the reason why she thinks like that. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. Anytime I see a bitch talk like that, it's because of the men. Yeah. Do you feel like as men, we're in a place to be able to tell her, like, fuck off? Like you, you sound stupid. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And if you tell her to fuck off, she gonna want to suck your dick that much more. <laughs> that's how it works. That's real. That's how it works. <laughs> that's real. <laughs> but then, like, even if any of her homegirls try to tell her, it still ain't gonna it ain't gonna help either, huh? Nah, cause they they're, they're delusional. And it's the worst time right now, 2024, with feminist movement and music and the mm-hmm. uh, the empowerment of women and then, like, the, the, the I don't want to say, like, the pussification of men. Yeah. Right? It's just... The, like, when you say pussification, like, men are soft now. Yeah, men are yeah. soft. Like, yeah. it's bitches are being, becoming bosses. Yeah. And men are just becoming late, more lazy. Yeah, like, more. there's a lot more people in relationships now. And the women are the breadwinner and the dudes are not. And that's c- fucking up the dynamics of the household. I think that's the agenda. I think that's the narrative that they're putting out there. It's it's, it's still, men still make more money than women um, averaged out just because of the jobs that we pick, that they, we take. Mm-hmm. But it's gradually, women's uh, income is gradually increasing. Growing, yeah. But it's the, never it, been like that before. No, nah, but even, but, but I, what I think is fucking everything up, the feminist movement is making women feel empowered to be whores and to objectify themselves and to to give dudes cuz they feel like they don't need a man that and that they beca- they feel empowered because men pursue them they, uh. they, you know what i mean and it's flipped cuz 20 30 years ago women were empowered for being pure mm-hmm. and, and staying away and keep yeah. my and saving myself yeah. you know what i'm saying make holding myself valuable but they yeah. flipped it and They've empowered bitches to be whores now, mm-hmm. where you're empowered to just devaluing your shit and mm-hmm. giving it to everybody, yeah. showing it to everybody. Yeah. And it's just flipped, right? Yeah. And then men are being now being tricked into pursuing that shit. How many times mm-hmm. you see dude ballers fucking wifing up hoes and all the strippers time. and all types all of shit time. because Zion Williamson. Yeah, because they confused, bro. It's it's flipped. You know what I'm saying? That's so bad. men can reset it, bro. That's why I'm, that's why I go so heavy. In my bag on like this whole not even red pill, just manosphere shit, like yeah. empowering men yeah. to to reset that dog yeah. because the way we going, bro. It's not it's not down a good road. For most men. But if you hold yourself to a higher standard and get your bag right and you right heading the right direction though, but like it's really it's easy to separate yourself from the pack now. Yeah. Just because of it's not a lot of competition right now. That's real. Yeah. You're gonna come into contact with bitches that are more masculine than men are. Bro, <laughs> I've, I've seen it already, bro. I've seen it already. Yeah, bro. And it's, it's crazy to think that, like, <clears throat> that, like, women are just not, like, conscious of it, bro. And I think it's simply because a lot of women are always in competition with each other. But, like, and it's, it's the same thing with men. But, like, women are always in competition with each other, so I feel like in order for them to feel empowered within themselves, they have to be better than everybody else. When it's like, you should just be so comfortable within yourself that you don't feel like you're in competition with anybody. But I just, I, I, I just, cause I have this conversation with my girlfriend all the time. Mm. Her perspective is just in the wrong space. She feels like there are people out there that look better than her or like. Yeah, she's lost in the sauce. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's just, yeah. and I'm, I'm trying to like, Get her to be break her out of it. Break her out of it and make her like understand that like she that should be so in like in tune with herself that all that other shit doesn't matter. Yeah. That's social media though. Of course. Yeah. Social media is a hell of a drug, dog. That's the worst thing you can do is sit here and compare yourself to everybody else. Especially when the shit that people portray, ninety five percent of shit it's is cap. cap. Yeah. It's cap. It's not even real. Like look at her. She don't even like look like she believe in the shit that she's saying right now. Yeah. She don't know what the fuck she's talking about. She don't even know how much 500k is. Like, what are you? She must do. She must do OnlyFans or something. But nah, cause anybody paying your ass that goddamn much to see your fucking frumpy ass bust it open. Yeah. Mm. I yeah. don't know. Bitch, bitches is lost though. Dudes yeah. is lost too though, man. It's just we in the we in a weird spot in, in general right now. Do you think? And you have how many kids? Three. Three from different. F- no, wait, same, same father. Person. You are a sex worker, you're an escort. I'm not saying that to insult you, but do you think that a guy who makes 
Five hundred minimum five hundred thousand dollars is interested in dating a sex worker escort no. with three children? No, definitely not. But I so mean, shouldn't you adjust? Day, but it, shouldn't you adjust your standards to be a no. little more realistic? No. So would you rather die? There's a reason why I'm single. Like I don't want to be with someone. <laughs> but. Do you see how ridiculous it is to demand that's, that's, that's a guy that's who makes 500k to accept? Crazy. Like, you gotta adjust your standards a little bit if you want a man. Well, well, tough for the men. I don't know. No, it's tough for you, bitch. See, that's crazy. Right now. That's, that's I don't crazy find to me. It's one of the craziest things I've heard. I don't think I'm not talking to nobody like that for real, for real. Like, I am, but I'm not. Like, but it's into like, the mic, please. I tried, but I'm struggling. <laughs> Q, you, you had something on this. Go ahead. Yeah, it is. I just want to let you know that this is according to the Internal Revenue Service. Less than one percent of all tax filers reported an adjusted gross income exceeding five hundred thousand dollars. One percent. That went one ear out uh -huh. the other. Well, that's on them. Go ahead, Q. I was saying that's crazy because you'd rather be alone than. Yeah. Lower your standards from yes. 500k a year. I mean, I got other standards too, but it's like <laughs> that money wise, yes. But like average man, height, weight, and stuff, average man is like what, five? Well, ten? yes, let's go into like, that. You said other standards. What are your dude. other standards? <laughs> I mean, I so, don't want a short dude. I want, I mean, I okay. just want. How, how tall are you? Five, two, five, three. What's the minimum height for a guy? For me, what I like, I think six foot or taller, I guess. But that's like the basic. A lot of women are like that nowadays. So I think the average male height is like five it's nine, like five, five ten. It's five, it nine, is. Five, so five, you're right. just that's just on the height metric, if you want a guy who's six feet and above, you've already reduced your pool to fifteen percent of men. Just just on the height metric, that's fifteen. Okay, what else? Um, I guess. I mean, not look. Are you talking about personality too? All right. So five hundred k, six feet and over. You said there were some other, that was just one of your standards. What are your other standards? Uh, I guess um, I just want him to have a car. I mean, I want well, him to be able to, I want him to be okay with me having a past and like quitting what I do basically for him specifically. And do you think, you gotta, you gotta ask yourself, okay, here's all that I want, <laughs> but what does the guy that I want, what does he want? And do you think that, He's the guy who's not going to care about your past, and you know you've got the three kids, and three kids. you used to do, or you still do sex work. There's people who don't care about that, though. Uh, there are men who don't care that about that at all. That make 500k. I mean, 300. I could do 400, oh, 300. I could be do generous. that. <laughs> you'll be. Well, yeah. if I, all of a sudden, what's the difference between 300 yeah, and 400? Man? <laughs> Regardless, that type of man is not settling for you at all. Charitable. You'll date a guy who makes four hundred. Why, why, why though? What do you need? What do you mean? Cannot make the shit you, up. You, you require that much money. You require six it feet. It costs that much no. to have kids, though. It costs no, it a lot. It costs thirty grand. I live in yeah, New York right. City. He's, he's, That's he's, he's, average. He's right. It's I live in New York not City. Not even it, it, it doesn't. In straight no. Manhattan, like it doesn't. It's expensive. Yeah, but it doesn't cost five hundred k. Andrew's correct. It doesn't cost that much. Fifteen k living in New York. I'm oh, listen, ha like, you can oh, raise okay. an entire family. Yeah, it may not be. Uh, optimal, you may not get the big screen TV and the Bugatti, but you can raise a family on fifty thousand dollars a year in most in parts of the Midwest City. of the United now, States. Now, Panda Man says you far from a ten. No man making five hundred k is going to waste his time on you. LOL. Stop acting if you have options. Single mom. Facts. Oh well. There's uh, a reason I'm what a about, single mom. By uh, does he have to be good looking by in choice. the face? I don't. I mean, I could do the average look. Yes. Average face. Like, they don't have to what be about like body? beyond what about out there. Body? I don't mind actually thick men. I don't care about I don't care about like weight wise. So I've dated okay. men in the past. Penis like, size is that a know, factor? Hmm? Penis size? No. Doesn't I like matter. average. Average actually. Peen. Okay, so six feet, five hundred k. I'll go lower, but. Uh, do you, did you say you man. have a race preference? Hmm? Race preference. White. Uh, Latinos. Latinos. Yes. <laughs> I like Latinos. Six. You made it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. About the six foot Mexican. Mexican. <laughs> yeah. I have six foot Mexican. Uh, I live in El Paso, and there's not really many six foot Hispanic men. <laughs> well, isn't it the oh, case? Uh, we're Hispanic making 500k a year. Latino men are. <laughs> 
Yeah. The you average grab, second you want to grab one of the 30,000 Hispanic men who make 500,000 plus dollars a year. Yeah. That's your that's your goal. Who are over? But he doesn't. But he doesn't have to be Latino. Right? He does, yeah, goals. he doesn't have to be I mean, Latino. Goals. This is crazy. Well, I want a man that can teach my kids Spanish. I mean, they already are learning it. Like they already they're already half Hispanic, anyways, regardless. So I want them to know Spanish. It's good on a resume to know another language. It's like a lot like, of the things that's coming out of her mouth, bro. She's delusional, bro. She just makes no sense when she speaks. And I'm over this bitch. Yeah, yeah, I'm cool. All right, I'm cool. It should be tired. Yeah, for real. Like, I don't even want to. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. Over here.